so this is the last email I sent so far and today is uh, 6th of July 2023 so I sent this uh, on 13th of January 2023 which is uh, which was Friday I did it symbolically I won't go into details now so uh, but before I I show this email I will uh, show that the most prominent lawyer in Serbia and probably in Balkans Toma Fila so he's ignoring me and this is his new uh, website before that his website was as can be seen here Fila Low and in the meantime he also changed but it's still here it's not changed here so this was actually his uh, website and his email so uh, these are DA phone numbers and let's see what's what happened in the meantime so if we go to contact those uh, so first number is the same the second one is changed and the street I know the street is the same <coughs> uh, 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 let's see again Nushicheva 7a yeah it was 7 it's now 7a well actually it's 7a anyways so uh, this hasn't changed so they basically only changed their uh, website and uh, email address I understand about the website but I don't know why changing the uh, email maybe email provider uh, is uh, yeah they they still they still exist yeah so I don't know why they did that never mind so uh <clears throat> I accused him on, on, on some major frauds in uh, uh, June 2021 through his uh, organization of lawyers called the uh, Chamber of Lawyers, which is the organization that issues licenses for the lawyers. You cannot be, you cannot practice law if you are, if you are not. A member of that organization I think that they are basically government body government organization so uh, it says here that their uh, inbox is full or too much mail but which is rubbish of course so I'm probably in their on their blacklist uh, so let's start with the email this is for uh, Italian ambassador it's about my mother who is uh, brutally intimidated for I don't know probably more than two years uh, this could not happen without the knowing of Italian government because she uh, they uh, didn't want to uh, retire her although she she had all the all the conditions met and uh, uh, since ambassador hasn't even uh, confirmed that he received my email he basically admitted that they are involved so uh, their government is involved in this so basically they are involved in cover up of monstrous murders of my family so uh, 
I uh, notified them, notified him he, uh, about that here, this part, and I reminded him that they are also part of uh, Epstein scandal, Jeffrey Epstein children sex trafficking ring. Uh, and uh, I mentioned here that uh, monster who murdered my family or also poisoned uh, my brother's my brother's uh, children three three minors and uh, I'm sure they don't want to be part of that scandal as well so I, I don't know I will probably contact him again this is my YouTube channel and uh, video about my mother she and my brother were the last one who were supporting me and of course it was extremely important that I that nobody is supporting me my, my other cousins stopped supporting me a long time ago so uh, but that of course uh, meant nothing because uh, in the meantime as can be seen in my uh, in my YouTube channel in the meantime the a uh, both Facebook and YouTube were brutally uh, banning me or shadow banning me so these are the a uh, uh, the videos these are the videos on Facebook shadow banning me in real time in contact context on of internationally organized crime so this is this would be impossible for any uh, company unless it's controlled by the government of uh, the state where that company is uh, is resides and of course uh, YouTube uh, blocked me for 19 days these are the a uh, These are the proofs so, uh, for 19 days instead of uh, instead of seven days for uh, first strike. Again, uh, no company, no private company w would have guts to do that unless somebody promised them protection. And in this case, this is United States government, federal government. So by doing that, Facebook and the a uh, both Facebook and YouTube uh, gave me huge credibility. They don't have the guts to to remove my channel, of course. So by doing that, they proved that I know really well what I'm talking about. Because uh, uh, having go my cousins turn against me was uh, uh, to prove that I don't know what I'm talking about so uh, it doesn't matter that I have uh, hundreds of pieces of evidence what happened uh, it doesn't matter according to their new laws it uh, what matters is that nobody supported me which is extremely stupid but anyways so uh, that was part for uh, Italian ambassador the second part is for uh, uh, um, Greek ambassador which is not relevant anymore and the third part is probably uh, the most important not probably but it is the most important part in the whole uh, in, in uh, the whole case of monsters murders of my family these are actually the cases because three members of my family are murdered I have the a separate video on this so this was for uh, a lawyer Marco Petrovic front of school it's uh, from sorry front of school, street Belgrade uh, who is mentioned in this video as the one who uh, received uh, the case uh, of uh, related to monstrous murders of my family at that time uh, only my grandfather 
and he received that uh, according to the law because he was the one who should have the uh, uh, be a lawyer who should defend monster who, uh, who murdered my family because they uh, planned her family related to the most the major criminals not just in Serbia but also in in Balkans uh, because all those criminals are, are related to other criminals, the criminals to criminals f uh, from other countries, neighboring countries. So, uh, in 2017, so middle of 2017, which is uh, six, around six years now, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, so six years. Uh, so uh, six years ago, uh, that lawyer, again, I explained the details in other video, that lawyer refused to defend the monster, the monster who murdered my family. So uh, her family uh, was trying to hire him. Again, they had a lot of money because they are really connected to those criminals I mentioned. And uh, after that, they uh, searched for another lawyer, tried to find another lawyer, and no lawyer wanted to defend that monster because it was pretty o pretty o obvious from... Uh, it was, at that time, it was like, I don't know, like six, five or six uh, crime reports I filed. He probably get all of them, got all of them. And it, it was pretty obvious from that and uh, the case uh, from the a, uh, prosecution the prosecutor acting prosecutor uh, brutally broke the law multiple times in, in uh, a lot of ways S because uh, just one fact is enough he to this day <clears throat> and my grandfather was murdered in September uh, 2015, to this day, the monster who murdered him, although they know uh, she has a, uh, she was in psych ward multiple times, uh, they refused to call her to, to, to testify, to give statement, to this very day. And of course, it can stand to uh, the day when my grandmother died, it was murdered, she was basically finished up by doctors from local hospital in Smareo. They're all ignoring me and it can also further extend that, that whole period to 2008 or maybe even 2007. Uh, she moved to my, that monster murder moved to my home in 2007. So that can be extended to, to that period. So 2007. So, uh, the, the from the moment she started poisoning my family one by one members of my family one by one so uh, 2007 and 2000 uh, uh, sorry uh, 2023 uh, almost it will be almost uh, like uh, more than uh, more than 20 years, right? Uh, sorry, not more than 20 years. Almost 20 years. So, uh, in in uh, four years, it will be 20 years. So 20 years, there, there. Uh, this monster uh, is uh, for 20 years. She's free, and she was she was uh, poisoning my family and even after that she 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 was stealing from my property after they died she was stealing from my property and uh, and uh, they are still protecting her of course they're not protecting her because uh, she has some power but because of of uh, her cousins so uh, I sent this to the one of the lawyers because there are five lawyers. There were five lawyers. Now there are five, four lawyers with the same name and surname. So I sent the uh, 
uh, sent email to this lawyer because he's the only one who uh, hasn't confirmed that uh, he, res uh, he uh, didn't receive that case and that he refused to, to uh, defend that monster. So, of course, this is a, a way, his decision is way above every, uh, way above a decision of any jury. Uh, because jury knows, in most of cases, knows nothing about the law. They should not be biased. But uh, uh, when attorney said, and not just this, but there was probably, uh, some other like two or three more attorneys who were asked to defend her all of them refused because uh, otherwise they will notify me they will sue me so that was in 2017 when I officially started uh, uh, filing crime reports against that, against that, that monster so uh, although I still at that time didn't have enough pieces of evidence but as I said uh, it was it was pretty clear from uh, from the acting of of the uh, of the prosecutor who was in charge that uh, he m did murder my my uh, family so i uh, i asked him here if he received this case in the middle of uh, 2017 some details about the case uh, and so on and so on also notifying him that acting prosecutor was uh, was convicted not suspected but convicted of uh, for uh, pickpocketing in trains uh, or his colleague who was removed uh, from the address book of uh, Chamber of Lawyers in uh, 3rd of March 2021. I asked him maybe that guy is the one who received that, but since this lawyer or attorney or whatever uh, didn't answer, didn't even confirm my email, probably he is the one. So uh, another thing, I explained that in video which which is uh, it give, gives more detail about this. Uh, so this is the lawyer who uh, uh, removed his phone number, and this is very strange because lawyers and doctors are someone uh, the ones who are always available that they, they they always provide phone numbers. So this guy doesn't have phone number in the phone book of uh, or address book of uh, Chamber of Lawyers. So, uh, yeah, so uh, these are the details I already, I already explained in uh, another video related to, to, uh, to this uh, to this video. So in this video uh, I got the information about the involvement of the lawyer. So this is brutal breaking of the law, not just uh, she, uh, this, this lawyer uh, first uh, uh, committed the, the very serious crime which is obstruction of justice, then he uh, didn't uh, report a crime, so not reporting a crime and uh, he uh, prevented me from uh, collecting evidence because I uh, became a prosecutor uh, after prose prosecutors were ignoring me. This is according to the uh, law on criminal proceedings. Of course, this part was removed, but I don't care about that. So this is the video where uh, lady who works in document office in uh, Harrison's court of Smedrevo by mistake gave me information that uh, 
this guy received this uh, this case in two thousand middle of two thousand seventeen. Uh, so. Uh, after uh, she uh, realized what she's she's done, she stopped talking. Uh, probably somebody was uh, next to her. Uh, I mean, chief prosecutor, or prosecutor, deputy prosecutor. And after she continued, so that there was a pause, like uh, I don't know, fifteen, ten to fifteen seconds. She then started uh, talking about something else completely changed the storyline and did, didn't explain what, what was wrong with, with, with that information. And of course, uh, since this lawyer didn't answer and also chamber of lawyers, which you see here, I asked the uh, presidents of chamber of lawyers of Serbia and Belgrade to send me information phone of that lawyer. And, uh, uh, the lawyer who was uh, removed from uh, address book of, of Chamber of Lawyers in uh, March 2021, or to give me number of the person who is in charge of his of his work of his cases. There must be uh, some person who continued his work, or at least has uh, got his. Uh, uh, got his cases then I give more details on the, on the whole uh, on the whole case and so on and so on this is basically something that I already said and this is something related to uh, selling my property illegally to uh, one of the local criminals, he is a war profiteer. Uh, they wanted to, uh, so it was not enough to, to uh, commit a fraud during uh, inheritance proceedings, uh, give that monster who murdered my family third of my property, then uh, to uh, change the a. Uh, uh, the the owner ownership in cadaster for that part of the property but they also needed to sell to to uh, complete the whole uh, uh, the whole illusion of uh, everything being okay that she is not guilty and so on and so on but the problem with that is that they haven't notified me about selling that they uh, uh they only sent me offer to buy it which is something that should be done by the law and in order to to uh so this guy when he bought it i warned him it's illegal he completely completely ignored me so this guy is only mr Stevanovic. okay i mean i have a lot of uh, uh material about him videos and so on so uh uh, he uh, he d d divided the property on its own. So uh, either uh, property is divided during signing the contract. So I'm, I'm, I was owner of the part of the property. According to the law, they need to uh, inform me uh, before signing the contract, which is something they haven't done. And if that's not done, then the uh, court in charge need need to to uh, handle this and of course uh, uh, my signature is needed so to this day he bought this in uh, uh, April last year he's using it illegally and to this day I'm not called to to sign any any sort of, of the document related to uh, dividing that that property is this this the right word okay i think it's the right word so so uh 
another thing is that my brother will uh, file uh, a uh, request for annulment of that contract which means that this monster will lose uh, half of uh, these these are i think two acres half of the half of the land he bought and uh, uh, what's also important uh, i'm going to to uh, take uh, my brother's death so the money he received from this guy and this guy cannot cannot sue me so he's losing six thousand euros and uh, of course i will create a separate video on that but regarding this uh, email it uh, this this is probably all and of course those uh, other two videos which are not relevant anymore are not shown here i need to mention that uh, because i made them private unless the person who was uh, the subject of that email to greek ambassador uh try tries to to be smart again i will i will make everything public so uh for now that should be it uh and i think that i covered all the emails i sent so far if not i will probably create uh, another video but i think that all important emails are covered